Hello, everybody. It's Dr. J again. This time we're continuing with the if statement, and the problem is to read in three integers a, b, and c, output the three numbers in ascending order without changing the content of a, b, or c. I have Mahmoodle here to help me. Say hi to everyone, Mahmoodle. Hello, everyone. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, start by declaring our our variables, and they're all integer variables. So let's let's use ABC for the input, and let's use uh, XYZ to hold the result because we don't want to destroy the original ABC. Okay, so now we have to ask the user for what? To enter the A, B, and C, right? Please enter three numbers, three integers. To be sorted. Something like that su yeah. seems sufficient. Yeah, that's right. That's good. And now C in uh, A and B and C, correct? Yeah, correct. All right, so we've gotten the taken care of the input part. Now that we have our input, uh, Let's just make sure that uh, that we did it right, and we're going to output C out as a little test here. C out the original numbers, original numbers are um, A, whoops. A. I uh, should we put a comma in there. Maybe a comma. Whoops, that's not a comma. Comma. And B. And maybe another comma. Yeah. Might as well the same money. And C. And let's just run this first before we do anything else. Make sure we got the data in correctly. And then we'll continue with the logic of the program. So let's uh, save it and compile. Compile it. Compile it. And run it. We got a clean compile. So the three integers could be four, seven, and two, and it should ultimately come out two, four, and seven. But uh, this is just echoing the original numbers. <coughs> okay. So now we have to our work to do, to do, and that is to use x, y, and z to do the sorting. So let's start by assuming a is the smallest, and we set x equal to a. So a little comment is good. Assume that A is the smallest. Now what happens if it isn't? We need an if statement to compare B to X. Yeah. So if B is is um, if B is greater than or equal to X, then it goes into Y. Then y equal b, because it would be in the correct order. Else, we have to move, we have to move uh, a, to, a, to, a to y and b to x. So else, we have a little more work to do. Two steps. So the first thing we have to do is move uh, a, x, the value of x to y, so y equal x. And a little comment here. Move uh, x to y. 
and now we 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 can put into y we can put into x uh, b. That's because we know b is smaller than a. That's the yes. reason for this. That's right. Okay. And now let's do one more if to figure out what to do with c. So if c is greater than or equal to um, to uh, y, we're good, right? And then it'll just go into z. And then z will be z c, and we're done. But the problem is, what if it's not, right? So else, well, if it's not greater than or equal to y, we got to check: is it greater than or equal to x? Is it does it belong there? So is c greater than or equal to x? To uh, to x, yes. And if yes, then we know that it be it belongs in a in y, and not in z. So c should be going to y, but first y has to go to z. So z equal y. We need a squiggly line. Z equal y in that case. And then then what goes into y? <coughs> With me? Yeah, y equal to is a C. Yes. And we keep uh, x alone. Yes. And finally, another uh, if C greater than equal to y is equal to C else, we need an if. I left out a key word. If, sorry. Else. Yeah, I needed that. Uh, I needed that. Uh, if. Okay, and now we need one more else to go with that if. And and that would mean that it's a, c would be the smallest. So we have to move everything over in that case. So we move y to z. And we move x to y, and then we move c into x in that order. So the first thing we do is move um, y to z. So z equal y. And then we, well, I need a squiggly line again. All right, so those squiggly lines. Uh, did I lose it? I lost my z equal y. All right, let's just eliminate it. Type it in again. Yeah. Else z equal to y, and uh, y equal to x, and x equal to c. So c has three possibilities. It could be go directly into z, it could go directly into y, or it could go directly into x. We have to make the appropriate adjustments to get it in there. And now let's print out x, y, and z to make sure that it's it's in the correct order. Uh, if, if this is a condition, else, else if, or just else? No, just else. Just else, yeah. If yeah, now we're up to C, then that's the trickier one. There's two possibilities. That's why we needed it. Okay, let's uh, save this. Good question, though. And compile it, compile and run it. How's that? Okay. Uh. Expect a declaration between before the squiggly. I have an extra squiggly. I didn't put the extra squiggly. We need a return. Z. No, I gotta get rid of that squiggly. Did I put that extra squiggly? No. Let's see. Well, we got a lot of squigglies, so it, it's no no wonder there was some confusion here. Let's look at main. Make sure we have a left squiggly there. Looks like we do. Yes. And this left squiggly should match <coughs> the right squiggly at the end. I don't know if it does. Well, we'll find out. Try it again. 
Oh, it looks better. Yeah, it's working. All right, so let's do the same three numbers. You remember the same three numbers? What did I put? Seven, two. Seven. Um, four, seven. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Seven to eleven. Seven to eleven. And it should come out to seven eleven, right? Yeah. But we didn't print it out. We didn't print the output. It's only going to echo. So let's print the output. All right. So there was something missing, and that is printing out the results. All right. So let's print it. See out. The numbers in sorted order are the numbers in ascending sequence are, and then let's print out a comma b comma c, right? I mean x comma y comma z. Yeah. All right, x, and then a comma. And Y, and then a comma. Where's my comma? There you are. Tom. And uh, Z, and an end line. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Try again. Hopefully, we typed it in correctly. Uh, okay, 7 to 11? Yeah, 7 to 11. The yeah. original numbers are 7 to 11. The numbers in ascending sequence are 2 to 7 to 11. But we can't be sure that that's definitely a correct solution we, unless we try all six possibilities. So 7 to 11 is one possibility. What if, what if we try 2 to 7 to 11? Make sure that works. So let's run it again. With two seven eleven. Seven eleven two. Let's try two seven eleven first. Ah, uh, it knew it knew. Now let's try uh, two eleven seven. We'll do everything in logical order. Two eleven seven. Make sure it works. Okay. Yeah. Now let's try the smallest in the middle. There's six possibilities. Let's try all six. Seven, two, eleven. That's good. Yeah. Now let's try eleven, two, seven. Eleven, two, seven. That's good too. And finally, the smallest at the end. So what would that be? Seven eleven two? Yeah. <clears throat> and that's good. And then one more case and we're done. What what would that case be? Eleven seven two. And that's good. So we tried all six cases. Thank you very much for your assistance, you. Mark Moodle, Thank and you. that'll be all for today's lesson on sorting. This sorting lesson will happen again later in the semester when we do look at arrays and insertion sort.